ready to run out. I didn't even know we had the permit. You know, I wasn't given a lot of stuff when I took over. <laughs> I mean, there was a cardboard people. box with it in somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But we have it now, so we're in good, we're in good shape on that. So. But that's what that was about. Water system. I'm sorry, water system. Is it? Oh, I back for warehouse for St. John's Baptist Church. The review letter. What are they? Land development. What are they that come to you? They do all the reviews for land development. Oh, I know what does St. John's Baptist Church do? They're looking at adding ADA parking to uh, the front of the Right along the road there? Uh, no, where the kind of the turnaround is, up at the upper part. There's a portico, <coughs> portico up front of the church right there where you can drive yeah. under just outside of that so you can mm -hmm. go up there. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Andy? Yes. I, I think you all should know this, but that call was going to Inga's house. I saw it, I didn't know. Cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest. On a handcuff? Um, mm -hmm. Two handcuffs. Mm -hmm. So just keep her in your prayers. I saw it, I did. Thank you. Okay. Anything else on engineering? Water system? Copper rule is that in guidelines or compliance or fixed? Or oh, yeah, that's just something that we have to do um, for that copper rule that's coming up. Uh, we have a lot of, we have to list like people's uh, service lines and everything, what they have. Just to really get rid of the lead lines or in your system. I don't really think we have any, but uh, we still have to get through the process of, you know. If we don't know if they do, we might have to dig them up and look and see if they are. So this we'll part of the, make this list first. Yeah, this is part of that survey that came out of, um, yes. Yes. several months ago, right? Yeah. It's an ongoing yeah, it's an ongoing that we're working on. Yeah. And the need for the back. Yeah, the, yeah. So, yeah, the back trailer comes into play there too, yeah. that we talked about previously. Yeah, at this point we don't want to dig and prove anything yet, but if we have to, that's what's going to happen. That thing will be used a lot. <laughs> this is just data collection to yeah. DEP and EPA. The loggers, have they found any water leaks? Um, we did find one, uh, and we fixed that one. Um, we did put them out there on Broad Street as well, after Ryan brought it to our attention. That the road was being wet for a couple days after the rain, um, and they came up with a leak there. So we investigated the work, found out that it was a service leak at the main to the uh, the older folks home there. We replaced their service going to their curb box and fixed that. So they do work. Wastewater system. Somebody kind of explain the second point. Kind of what happened. What? What do you need to explain that's not listed there? What? The four-inch dynamic stainless steel check valve broke. So some something inside the pipe broke. The check, the check valve. valve. Yeah, it stops water from coming. Oh, this is this is air. So well, this is it stops air. Yeah, it stops the air from coming back. Probably got a flap in it, so if it came loose and went down the pipe, might get it out. But it's just a guess. And so, like, water was supposed to be stopped, but then water was air. 
Yeah, this is this is into the um, this is providing from the blowers into the SBR tanks. Remember, the wastewater tanks get air to help with the uh, aerobic part of the bacteria process. Is that part of what was just replaced? What does, what does that cause when there's no air available? I mean, well, that's why there's no air available, so you have no no treatment occurring within those plants, or within that basin, I'm sorry. So that's why you have to take basin two out of service until that repair can be made. There's you have three, three basins? There's three basins. Three basins right? Yeah. And the repair was done, right? That's what it looks like? Okay. And the film crew, they were out here to film the system that we got at a discount mm -hmm. in Phoenix and Through kind Phoenix of Phoenix. a documentary, I guess? Yes. Yeah, that's how they market their product to other, to other treatment plants. And that was kind of the deal for getting that. The PLC deal. upgrade, yep. That they would be able to come in and, and do a basically multiple filmings and as well as bring, um, is it one potential client a month I think they can bring in there to see the setup? Okay. Um, and to date, I don't know that they brought anybody. What year did that Phoenix go in? Uh, I think that was 2019 or 2020, 2020 it's right before I started. So. Yeah, I had a uh, question. Let me make sure I got the right number. Uh, number seven, that one that addressed previously had one and that was dropped off as being done and now yes. it's back? Yes. The owner indicated that he had been removed from the property and a neighbor provided pictures and complaints that they are back again. Okay. along the road, so... Which was the original issue. Right. So he said, if you want me to, I can move them back if it's really that big of an issue. The second one, that went to the district magistrate? Yes. Did the owner of the property show up? Via Zoom conference, yes. Oh, okay. All right. How's he going to clean up a decent floor? Is hire somebody? He has to hire somebody? Or the, 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 done? the tenant will need to clean it up. Okay. How come it was closed if it's not satisfied? And then the pictures say closed and they're not updated that it was satisfied. was directed by the magistrate to clean it up. If they don't, yeah, then they they go they back and start all over again. Should it stay open right. until it's satisfied, though? For the violation that was issued, that's the end result, is it went to the magistrate, they were found guilty, and instructed to clean up any remaining items. If there's an additional complaint past that, 
they don't clean up, they've never satisfied the complaint. So what would you like to see? I guess it left, left open, open until it's satisfied and the picture updated. Well, what time frame do you give them? Well, I, whatever the magistrate did. I, it's, it's a, you know, I guess right, she told them to clean clean up the items. There was no she time. didn't say time frame. No. Yeah. And it's not satisfied if they don't clean up. Is there a fine issue? Yes. Okay. So what you're saying is if they don't clean it up and follow what the magistrate said, we would reopen it and find following up the complaint. Okay. 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 I don't know if you got Sorry, you said as of number eight, the sign number eight picture but was removed as of Sunday. Yeah, but I'm I'm saying that I I understand that the tenants have moved are moving out. I, I'm just saying because that may help us. I don't know if there's anything we can do. If we had a rental agreement, we could go in there in between. More than it's cleaned up. And I, I would support 100% if it was between tenants. <laughs> there was another one you took care of. There was a complaint on self constitution and whatever. Yeah. Is that person going to be responsible to reimburse the borough for the uh, line of sight cleanup that we did? Yeah, yeah. We're we have a bill drafted based on our uh, resolution. And is, that, is there also a, a fine? Yeah, I, I was, fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's what I was trying to get it yeah, done. I know. Well, I appreciate you doing that. Everybody in the neighborhood appreciates you doing that. Um, go ahead, finish this, and then I have one to add to this to your upcoming. I do. Um, the steam into history vehicles are parked in the grass. They're mowed around, and the grass is growing taller than the undercarriage of the vehicles of the trucks. They were yeah, right, right along the tracks where they park the engines. I mean, it just. We have a couple of the vehicles that are down on the tracks. Sometimes they park their truck. No, they're in the grass. It's the white truck, Andy. Two of yeah. them. And like a cab on the truck. It's two of bad. them. Where did I see somewhere that and that was moved one, and mowed up? They're on the grass, and two, they're just, who, who, who mows that area? Is that borough? Is that them? That's, that's, county, that's, that's, county, that's county, county parks. Yeah. County parks. They're mowing around it, and the grass is taller than under the truck. Yeah, they, they did move the truck at one point, uh, but the cab and other items are still there. Do we, These are two full-size Since white it's county vehicles. parks, do we have any? F-150 trucks. Way that um, we can't issue any citations for county parks there. Can we? When, when my daughter complained a year ago, she was told that they don't have to abide by any of the new freedom ordinances. They can park there. That's kind of what I'm asking. Yeah, I went to the and they said that it, it, being a train, trains are exempt yeah. from. That's not being a nice neighbor. No, it's not. Exactly. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I don't. Handout, yeah, but that's not their yeah. property, so I don't agree with. I'm not, yeah, that's not their I, but property. But I'm not. I'm not I don't agree with that. State you, uh, but the trains do have. There can be very difficult, but I don't think that's the case here. I think that between the county parks and NCR, we should be able to get that cleaned up. Well, I think so. Doesn't make our town look nice. 
as well the people that we have coming and walking right next to that. And, and, the, man that, coming to ride and the man who drives that truck actually told my daughter that he's never worked at a train that didn't have a storage space, so this was his storage space. Because he has a trailer that he actually puts drunk on, like goes around and picks up all the um, scrap, metal. scrap metal and stuff from people and puts it on that trailer that sits there too. Speaking of coming into town on the rails, number six. Uh, so he, that was the one that was, again, again, previously for a different vehicle that was done. Yeah, they had a bus out back that was repaired. Okay. And then he's asking for additional time for, for this? Yeah. My thought on, uh, Andrew, my thought on the, the uh, Stevens history is um, a county property that's being used for a county purpose may be not subject to municipal ordinances, but I think a county property that's being used for private purpose is. Oh. And so I think you could tell them that the county property is being used for a private purpose, it's being used to benefit a private organization, um, and therefore they have to comply with pro ordinances. the property and they didn't. So we cited them three times. Um, and then when they still didn't comply, we sent a contractor in and we leaned the property um, and we're going to sell it at the sheriff's sale. So, yeah. So, I mean, you don't mess around with enforcement. I Access to be able to see the roof. I mean, as long as he secured those panels back down, there's not really much outside of that. How do you secure Is that, it? I'm sorry, yeah. is that the old repair according to the zoning hearing? The old unauthorized repairs? Well, they, 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 we tried to get them on replace and they said it was a repair and they agreed. I don't the know that that'd be the exact it one. It looks kind of like it's ours. Yeah. So would that be something that we would be allowed to go in and make sure structurally inside that it's that is the new part? I'm looking at it now. That's the new repair. It's file permit to repair. No, because he's just screwing the panels back. Yeah, but isn't there other, it looks like other stuff on the top that's, there's other stuff up there. What is that? Do you see it? Is it Yeah, it just looks like other metal or? Well, most of that metal is what had blown off of that section. The other side maybe and on this side. I think it just folded back because most of what ended up, ended up to the rear of the property and kind of in uh, Vortex's back parking lot. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it went that way. Everything kind of peeled back. Mm. That's a public health problem. Oh, it's definitely it's safety concern. I mean, if there was a heat well for that outdoor seating, I mean, why would you be out there in that kind of storm? But, uh, it, yeah, it could have. Thank you. 
Well, I ha I have well, I have two editions, and I see that the one of mine from Singer and Freedom. You don't have one here. Have you looked at that? Yeah, yeah. We have a uh, letter strategy for well. so. Okay. Also, I have gotten numerous complaints about 114 North Constitution. If you and Wade could travel that, there is a vehicle that uh, is not parking in the garage, it's parking in the driveway, but the vehicles are all the way out to the road across the sidewalk. And there was an incident where we had a lady with a baby carriage. She couldn't get through the sidewalk on the sidewalk and had to get down over the curb with the baby carriage and around it and into the road to get through. So if you would please look into that. There's usually a truck or a big black Mercedes there. And both of them look like they come to the road. We're going to have a, somebody's going to it's more of a really short driveway. It is a short yep. driveway. Yeah. Yeah, it's I a short driveway, but the previous owner always parked in the garage. And it's going to get somebody hurt because that's a busy, busy road. <coughs> so thanks if you would take care of that, please. Or look into yep. it. Subdivision and Land Development Activity Report. Yeah, call me stupid. Um, New Haven. They have to go through York County first. Then from York County, they go to planning. Yeah, then we, they go to zoning right. hearing board. Well, only if, only if they need it. And the way the initial drawing that was submitted do not believe they needed any variances or special exceptions. No, and they're come, everything that they their architect has put up to code, lights, sidewalks. Yeah, yeah they, we, they have not submitted the work. We're still waiting for visions following that. Okay, they're so that's a long yeah. ways off. But that's the first spot they get. Yeah, we, we want to make sure that our planning commission has comments back from your county planning commission before they review it. Otherwise, I, I thought back I was just month, wanted to make sure I had those steps right. Andrew? Yes. Hey, Andrew. Uh, you know that, uh, that's those solar panels that they're planning on putting in? Yes. There's one thing I've noticed. A whole bunch of the places around the area that have some of them, some of them, the grass is as high as the panel. So I was just wondering if we need to be, make sure that somebody's going to cut that down so that doesn't grow up like a... There's supposed to be planting grass that doesn't get any higher than six inches. I'll probably believe that when I see it. But... <laughs> Yeah, I've never, they, I've never but yeah, but they, but they do have they do have a cutting plan, and they have they will have people coming in to cut the grass. So, for the record, oh, okay. I asked them directly. They were said twice a year, and I said that's not going to work, and that they said they would keep it maintained and cut. They would come more often. Yeah, because that's not agricultural or anything. Is it? No. It's 
still all properties. Okay, new, new Freedom Rack. A um, couple of things. Um, nothing uh, big is pretty short game. Uh, concerts in the park were successful. Uh, it did say that the next one, with the date right, September 23rd, um, would be the karaoke. Uh, again, two guys in a grill. Um, you have all the certificates and everything that you need, correct? Yep. Uh, and desserts will once again be provided by the Senior Center, uh, and Seven will once again be serving uh, adult beverages. Uh, Veterans Day, Veterans Day dinner will be held on November 9th in the Community Center from not 6 until 9 p.m. Um, um, really last thing to note about the park feasibility. Um, I had the meeting the other day and really started narrowing down some of the questions that will go out on the survey. We're going to have that in, I think, about two weeks' time. Is that correct? Um, that will be for members to review, um, and we'll go back, and then that will then be sent out on Savvy Citizen um, uh, website and um, uh, the newsletter. Um, yeah, that was really the, uh, the big hitters from them. Um, I had a concerned citizen uh, reach out to me uh, a couple weeks ago about uh, Veterans Park and really the lighting and parking. <coughs> so I met the individual up there. Um, and it is an odd shaped lot. Looking at the dimensions, it really starts wide out by the road and really narrows down as you get closer to the building. Um, they were inquiring if we could possibly put in some additional lighting as a, uh, I guess at least a, a temporary solution. You know, maybe some floodlights on the corner of the building, something like that. Um, at the time, I think there was a scouting event going on, and there was also three football teams uh, that were practicing between the outfield and I think the auxiliary field outside of the fence. Um, so there is a lot of vehicles. Uh, they were parked uh, along the fence uh, with a gap, and then along the, the edge of the borough property, and then actually parked into church parking, or um, excuse me, church property out in the grass. Uh, they were not in the church parking lot. Um, so really, we're, we're many people who are using the facility are parking on uh, church property. So uh, talk to Andrew and see what we could come up with. Um, I think there's a, a couple options um, long term, maybe a couple options short term um, to make it a little bit safer, a little bit more user friendly. Um, possibility of some grants with um, veterans being involved with it being Veterans Park, um, some ADA help, because there is technically one ADA spot up there that's uh, between the, the yeah. basically the cook shack up there, I don't know what you really call it, I don't think it's house. The, well the scout house, but then the other building in between, that's where the ADA that's spot like is. More like a pavilion. The, the pavilion, yeah, I know it's got the one in the little enclosed area. Um, some some recreation aspects of it, but uh, it is a lot of cars. I do have some pictures. If anybody wants to see them, I can send them to you. Uh, there is a lot of cars all over the place up there. So. Yeah, send send me pictures of that. Yep. Yeah, actually, as we were sitting here, somebody else who's up there right now just texted about it, said that it's pretty out of control. And while while we're talking about Veterans Park, I I forgot to mention something. While the Lions were here, I thought they might mention it. Um, they're no longer going to be using the, the lion's room. They're getting sick again. So they're right now permanently going to transfer their meetings out to the scout house. So if there's the ability to rent that out any Tuesday night that they were scheduled before, uh, I don't know what the problem is. They're saying it's the chemicals in the rugs. As soon as they come in the door downstairs, that deodorizer. So we, got, we, we were good for three months, and all of a sudden, the last two meetings, we had people that had to leave and, and went on set. Uh, I, don't, I don't have the 
problems, yeah. so I have a hard time understanding it. But asthma, emphysema, allergies. I think two of them are on. Um, Injection drugs. Some of them have immune systems that are compromised, and there's something that's getting them. Just so you know. Do you think um, taking off the council hat, and putting on the still scheduling hat? Do you think the church would allow, like the football players, people to park? I mean, I don't think there's really anything going on at the church. If, the, if I told the football player teams that they had to park in the church lot, it would free up a lot of the area and then the scout house and the lines using the scout house, they would have enough parking. Well, I think there's a lot of, at least on a temporary basis. There's a million up there right now, they got a lot of stuff. Yeah, there, there's, there's a lot, right lot roped off, at least yeah, currently. Power, so I think that's caused the problem, really, because uh, okay. once all that gets cleaned up, we're running the water line up through there. Yeah, we have, so, we have a mess up there right now. So yeah. I think that's why it's so congested right now, because otherwise... Well, they, the, the water line and stuff wasn't going on when I was up there yeah. uh, two weeks ago. But um, at the same time, though, past years, if, that was, if I was an attendee at that church, I would not want them parking anywhere on my property <laughs> because they don't clean up their trash. Yeah. They tear the yard up when they're up there, and it's just... That's just asking for problems. Yeah. I think before they were parking mm -hmm. on the, the grass on that church side, which now since the church is going on, there's, you know, there's, they have vehicles there, there's material there, and there's yeah. not a lot, you know, there's not a lot of room there right now. Yeah. Um, I did notice on the York County property tax map that there is a small sliver of land between the, the church and the Veterans Park. So, um, I think it's 0.12 acres. It's, I think is what it is. I don't know if there's the option of maybe purchase, purchasing that to give us a little bit more room for a parking lot. The ones? The church. The church. It's a very odd sliver. Is that that triangle that we still look at? Yeah. Is that stormwater? What's that? Isn't that for stormwater? That little triangular piece showed that it was given to the borough on the columns that we looked at. Yeah. Is your so county, yeah. your county not up to date then? I, well, I pulled it, back up to see. But. Yeah, it's like a triangular piece, and if you look at it, there's a, there's a storm in it right there. Yep. Yeah, that, that's and what I that noticed was, um, from before, from Andrew said it was a proposed parking lot that they never, never did. Yeah, but this is it, this is a little bit closer to the gravel than uh, than that. Because we looked at that when we were proposing where to put the water line so that we made sure the water line was on borough property and not on the church property. Right. Um, do, we, do we need a motion or anything for putting in some floodlights? something up there high enough that you can shine out and work a lot. That would probably help a lot right there. Yeah, it's just looking at one of these wall packs. Might even need to do something in this kind of house. There are, there are a few, let's say, smaller LED on the side of the, the scout house. Um, not very bright. They're like a yeah, sing, single not. LED style. Yeah. Um, they put some direct in the spotlight on it. Yeah. Yeah, we have Lions meetings, and it's hard when you're coming out yeah. to find yeah. it. On that gravel yep. in the car, we have some older members. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. Something similar to what's on the community center, or no? Probably not quite. Uh, those big ones. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Well, if you do something like that, you'd almost have to have time to them or something, because you wouldn't want them all, all on the plate, would you? 
You're not talking about the big floodlights hanging off the side of the building, right? You're talking like one about of those. Like the wall, the wall packs like, that are on the building here. You could put them up on yeah. smaller the best part there. that shines yeah. out towards the stone block, and they wouldn't be that hard to put in. Yeah. Why don't you take a look and see yeah. what you recommend? And it probably isn't going to be that much money, so I'm not sure we need a motion. <coughs> No, no, it's good, good to ask him for sure. Kill two birds with one stone. Isn't there a switch at the community center, at the gym, that back door to the left? Isn't there a light outside, out there on that little porch? I don't you know where I mean? I think that's disconnected. We put the wall packs on. Yeah. They are all on one photo line. So, so, so now the there's no light the, there. To the dumpster? Yeah, there used to be. There's okay. a wall pack up there that shines down, and it's on a photo eye connected to the other ones that when it gets dark enough outside, they all come on. But, but they're not on a timer. No. no. I, I just heard that you know sometimes people at night, there's not enough light, maybe. And it's working right? Have you been up by? I'll go up by this evening. Yeah, how much light? I mean, you're just talking about light. Well, she, the, the people are scared to walk out there in the dark and throw their trash in the dumpsters. Okay. Well, the only thing, I mean, if that's the case, we'll take a look at it. But I know we've had conversations with the property owners below the community center there about making sure that the light's not flooding on their property, too. You know, not much room there between those two, between the back of the building and the next house. So you know, it's just we just like have to keep that in mind. We don't want to. Yeah. Move. It's just like this building here. They have to do the same thing here. Yeah. And this building, because the neighbors behind here, you know, they're which Yeah, I'm just passing it on. That it's come back that people yeah. don't, especially women. They don't. They don't want to go out there and be throwing out garbage cans in the dark. And I didn't know if there was even a light there. That's why, because I, I, I can understand. I would want my way to walk out in the dark. Okay. We already talked about EMS and fire funding. We're going to talk about it again next month after the DC meeting. Um, I think we're on infrastructure right now, right? Not that someone's already in. Summers and Singer. How long does he have to make repairs after a fire? Is there a time limit? I'm thinking there is. But I mean, you have to. If you have a deck, you have to have railings, right? So the rail is usually the only that I can think of that a time frame can come into play is if the damage was significant that we would require a fire insurance escrow. Or structural. Right? Yeah, and that, that wasn't the case here. But no, I'm not, I'm not aware of the time frame, but I'll back and research and find out. Yeah, because I'm thinking zoning or something like that. It requires. No, no, I, that's why I asked how much time. And we're, I, I think we're probably going to get close on that uh, line of sight with the new. We we looked and it's what is it seventy feet? Seventy five, right? Seventy five. So it's yeah. on a diagonal, and we're right. really getting close with some of that stuff well, coming up. I'll say I had somebody talk to me about coming out of summers and making a left hand turn. That's what I'm talking about. The line of sight from the vegetation that has grown up is dangerous. We, we measured and it falls with, at that time it fell within code. But it's real close. Brunel, do you have anything on sesquicentennial that you wanted to talk about? Uh, I have, uh, for when they have the festival on Saturday, 
Uh, I'm going to have some shirts down there for the sesquicentennial to sell again. And, and on the signs on down the park, we haven't gotten all the information yet back for those. So as soon as we do, we'll have a meeting and then we can discuss more what's, what's, what time, what the time span and that'll be. Okay. Other than that, don't have anything. All right. Uh, York County Borough Association meeting anybody? I'm going. Okay. Can you reach out to the website because this was told this week? Yeah, yeah, we can check it. Basically, so you... that's the left hand turn. Yeah. So, so summer and singer. Yeah, we checked it what a week ago. Near Bond. Any additional public comment? Okay. Just kudos to the newsletter. It was really informative and a great job again. Yes. I know it costs a lot to ship it, you know, but it's, it's worth it. Yeah, postage isn't. What was it, $700? Oh, 400, yeah. It, it's a good investor. Oh, that's not free. That's just a yeah. right. Oh, sorry, right? I got a question. The Ladies Auxiliary of the Fire Company, they hold yard sales during the summer for a fundraiser. This past month, well, they sell spaces, and then they provide folding tables. This past month, they needed to more tables. They went down to saw somebody from the community center, asked if they bought, could borrow the tables, and they said no. And, and nobody understands why. Do you know who Did they you tell them no? What's that? I was asked about it, and I told them they had to get a hold of someone here. I wasn't going to give that permission because I know we had a mess there for a while. Remember, we had mud and junk, and I said, please, I gave him your name, said, call the Burr office, ask for Andrew, and he'll let you know what he thinks, if, if you can borrow. It's always tricky using public property for a private purpose. You always got to be careful if you do that. Even though it's a fire company? Yeah. Event? Yeah, it's I don't always true. specifically remember anyone calling and speaking to me, but we have tried to limit the amount of people that are utilizing those tables away from the center to make sure that they're there, number one, if we have a rental, and number two, that they stay clean and well, good condition. They would, yeah. they would have stayed on the property. They were just going in to the woods for the yard sale. Was the, was the fire company letting them use their tables? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, they, they, they had their tables. I mean, it was their, it was their they, event. So they, needed it. they needed extra tables. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. And then you, the next time, uh, find out in advance, Ray. Just, you know, have contact the borough office well in advance so if there's a problem. Or if, you know. Yeah, because they have it every, what, the third? Saturday of the month. Yeah. If this is the roadway, this is the curb, and this is the home, how close can vegetation be, and then there's a driveway, how close can vegetation be planted to the curb? Bushes, trees? You can go, you can go right up to basically the curb line. I mean, if it's in the right of way and it's damaged, there's nothing. But if you're talking about for clear sight, yeah, for like neighbor, like a neighbor backing out of the driveway, and this neighbor has planted bushes all the way, with almost like where the mailbox is, and backing out on a busy road, and that would seem dangerous. That the shrubbery here, you can't see the vehicles coming when you're backing out. The only, the only way to enforce that would be to identify where the right of way is at and say that those items can't be planted within the right of way. Other than that, I mean if that right of way is six inches behind that curb, 
that's all you're going to get. Are right of ways different? Yes. For different residences? No, they're different for different streets. Streets. Yeah. So one street might have a 50 foot right of way, one might have 35, one might have 22. It, it, is the right of way, if it's 50 feet, is it from the middle of the road that way? 20, 25 feet. Maybe it would be 25 feet. Yeah, feet. yeah, from the center of the road. Yeah. This is a new street, relatively, in the past 30 years. What? Is the street you're talking about a relatively new street? You know, no. 30, 40 years Constitution. Ago? No. Well, well, it's, well, it depends on the areas of Constitution. That right away, might, that change is going out. Through. Yeah. Because it's state. Back out in the, the property owner may have a private course of action. And there's what a three foot maximum for a side fence, and then what four or six in the back. So I mean, if you, even if you have hedge three feet, you're legal, right? Well, even your clear sight distances are three feet. Yeah, I believe they are, but that's a little different than what the situation that you're talking about. It would count for a private driveway also, that sure. line of sight? Oh, yeah. Well, clear sight driveway? No. But yeah, that's what I thought, because half, half, half a new freedom would be in violation. Well, yeah, but PennDOT always, you have, you have to have line of sight whenever you put in a new driveway, so I can't new, imagine that you wouldn't have a new driveway. driveway. New drive. New drive. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So the, the way to determine this would be first if it's within the right of way. Um, to identify what the right of way is at that specific segment. Measure and see if those items are within that. Entertain a motion. Yeah, I 
Because when you roll the other window, the window closed, it goes in the other window. The frame go to the other window. The box is good. It's the frame. So I put it into the frame. So like I said, I said tonight, they had BLS, but no ALS. They had a call of 50 units, I guess, on the four days. So ALS, I think, was that. No, that one on there now is BLS. So ALS was the announcer. Now, see, that's the thing that they're saying. If they weren't there, they were the paramedic behind the paramedic. They said, we got to do something. But Chrissy put some stuff in, and she said, no. We got to do something. So, hopefully, right. the home association gets it. And one is, and, and to me, it's, that's, just, that's a continuously sustainable thing. So let's any other a continuous. You know, okay, there will be different people with the Somebody runs the unit, manages it, and they don't have any relationship with 